I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to tell me That's how far you're willing to go for love. I mean, I feel like that 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 answer is not a destination; it's a journey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that was some nice shit right there. I like that. That was some nice shit right there. Say that again. It's it's what? <laughs> it's not. It's not a destination <laughs> answer. It's a journey. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I like that shit. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. It sounded like um, like if you were selling, like I said in your book, it sounded like that was one of the quotes on the back of the book. <laughs> That's what it, what's the name of the book? What do you? <laughs> if you wrote a book, what would it be, what would be the name? I don't know. If you wrote a book about just just give me a book that you would write. Damn, that's not a question. You just answer. Like All right, that, ask right? me. All right, if you could write a book, what would you call it? Okay, so if, a couple ones. If I could write a book, one of them would be like how to be a player, not like, not like, how do I say it? Um, not just <clears throat> not just necessarily just have multiple women and uh, sleep with her, sleep with her behind her back and all that. No, 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 not John Tucker must die shit. No, no, no. But what John Tucker should have done. So you know what? The name of my book would be John Tucker. <laughs> they shouldn't survival have. Survival guide? <laughs> the, John Tucker, the John Tucker survival guide. The John Tucker survival guide. Yeah, yeah there you go. Like you that. see? <laughs> <laughs> Because he was wildin'. He was wildin', okay? Wildin'. Taking shorties to the same place. But niggas be like that, though. Niggas be niggin'. Okay. I feel like it's a thrill for you guys. Like. Okay, I can't even lie. I did that before. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like... Yeah, I get your mouth as close as possible to it. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so last time we had you on the show, um, this is before we uh, went went on um, camera, so we gotta like really introduce you this time around. So um, I just want to say I got I read the book, love your book. Um, what book? Dang, you're supposed to gas up yourself. I love the book. <laughs> all right, read the book, changed the life, changed changed our lives. <laughs> She's like, what book? <laughs> We got we got unique what with us. Book. We got unique with us. A round of applause, please. That's the... thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I came across this on the internet, on the inters of net. This clip here. Um, look, this guy here. I don't know him very well because I don't know him personally. But I, I am I am um, um, aware of his content and the stuff mm-hmm. that he's been putting out. This is uh, Andrew Tate. That's his name. Okay. He's um he's a world fighter. Um um and he's good. And uh uh I seen a post I thought was just very like is this he's he had a post I think it was just it was so hilarious. He said there's nothing stopping me from being Batman. He said he has the money. He has the Batmobile, the Bugatti. He trains, he's in shape, he can kick your ass. And he has a butler. What's stopping you? From being Batman? No, who would be a superhero for you to be? What's stopping you from being... Who was Amber Heard in Aquaman? Never mind. What's stopping you from being Wonder Woman? I mean, I thought I already was. <laughs> True. <laughs> True, true. Okay. But yeah. Somebody's Wonder Woman. So this Andrew Tate guy, I want you I want to get your opinion on this because I thought this was kind of wild, but at the same time, like I don't want to say that I agree, but I do see where he was trying to go. So let's 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 get into it here. You can put on the screen up there. Oh no, no, we can no. yeah, we ain't got it on the screen no more. All right, you ready? How you the fifty men of something. I've just been single for a long time. No, unacceptable. Haram. Why is it unacceptable? Haram. A body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 90... No, 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 no. I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the 
disintegration of morals. It would prevent so many things about the world. But you, you know, know? There's like a and women would be like, to be with me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. How can you be high value? In 50 minutes up to you. Okay. Okay. What are your thoughts, your reactions to that clip there? He did say a lot, though. You know what? But he said walking, women walking around with their body counts on their, on their forehead. forehead. But basically, I mean, obviously, that'd be weird. But the idea that their body count would be in the open. Yeah. I understood what he was saying. Yeah. And, it, and that I think it, that the yeah. general point that he made was valid. That if women had to really show who they really were, they would think twice before they make certain decisions. Right. Mm -hmm. We can hide that stuff. That's why there's so many. So. Now you know that it's not only your value, but what society is looking at you as, and you can't hide from that. Could you imagine having a little counter on your forehead every time you have sex with somebody? <laughs> Just going off. That, that, that'd <laughs> be so wild. That'd be like, so wild. You know what I mean? And then like, or when somebody's walking by and they see it change. Like, you just did something, it just went up. Like, that's I mean, you'd be able to tell when your partner's <laughs> cheated a lot faster. But, right. So, I mean, there's an accountability piece there that I liked. Um, he's not, he's not wrong. I just don't like how he put it. But I, I guess maybe he was doing it for the gram. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is he a comedian? What is, what do you do? You said he's an athlete? Yeah, a fighter. So when he makes these videos, is he is it satire? Like, does he mean to be funny, or is this just he's just, he's just saying real life shit? I think he's saying it. He's mean. Of course, he means to be funny in a, in a way, but he's he's saying it in a way to grab your attention. Right. You know, because there's a different way of saying this. Right. Absolutely. You don't have to walk around with a body count on your forehead, mm -hmm. but that's that's the way it goes viral. Mm -hmm. It's really that. And when it goes viral, more people hear the message. It's true. It's true. No, you're not wrong. And that's why I'm not upset with what he was saying, because I was able to see past that. Because mm -hmm. um, he, he could just say, women, you need to value yourself better. He they did hear use, that every day. They don't do that. Yeah, nothing. exactly. He did use big words that I can't... Um, Extrapolate? Yeah, I can't even, like... <laughs> what, what is that? What, what, what is even, that? He didn't even need to use that word. <laughs> could, you say, could you say that again? Extrapolate. <laughs> that that is word of the day word of the day shall we get an official this um meaning from yeah the i mean why not Let's why not it. and while you're doing that joe budden had a great idea he said he was watching the spelling bee the national spelling bee or whatever and he goes yo there should be like a regular spelling bee for regular people like you go up there and you gotta spell unnecessary like, <laughs> no, but it's like, it's like yo, that'd be crazy. That'd be on TV. Niggas be watching that shit. <laughs> but like, yeah, I can't spell nothing. Mm -mm. I'm not good with nothing, especially if I'm not writing it. Oh, hell no. Hell no. That changes. That changes the game. So what do we got? Extrapolate. I'm. I'm getting that. Definitely has to mean like taking something from. Like taking things apart. To yeah. Understand what it is. Well, it's. To infer an unknown from something that is known or conjecture. Mm. So, taking things apart. I feel like women are better at extrapolating things. Oh, yeah, we do that. Than men. That's how y'all get caught. Mm. Mm. I'm just joking. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Damn. 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 All right, well, jeez. Well, glad to hear that you kind of could actually see past the whole um, <laughs> nonsense that he was actually saying. It goes back to what we were talking about earlier, about people don't know how to talk to people. Right, exactly, exactly. I'm telling you, you we know, need to start, well, maybe not me and you, and maybe not me, because I probably need to go to this class too, but like an etiquette class. There needs to be an etiquette class, an etiquette see, etiquette see, etiquette see. Oh my God, oh my God. What's the word? Say the word. Yes. And it needs to be like that university, that school. That needs to be taught in all levels of schooling. All 
levels of schooling. All levels. But there also needs to be submissions from families of different cultures and things like that. We can't just leave that up to the uh, culture. That's going to take a long time to change. Well, yeah, but it's going to start off with like one school first. <laughs> we start off with one school in the city first and we see how it works. And and we have like surrounding families and people from different cultures and another big word, ethnicities. It's not a big word. I mean, yeah, it's how you spell it? E T H N I T Y. Want to get the counter? E T H. Say it again. E N T H. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Don't worry what I'm doing. It? Don't worry what I'm doing. I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. Don't worry what I'm doing. It's E. It's E. Mm-hmm. T H N I C I T I E S. Plural, right? I think that, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. Plural. Okay, all Final right. answer. All right, all right, sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Please, if you guys are listening and you guys heard her mistaking it and she, she got it wrong, please let me know. Please let me oh know. I'm God. sending it. Send it as a voice note if you could. All right, we'll play it on the next episode. <laughs> hey, she got that wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, okay, cool, cool. Yo, we're not going to talk about how far you're going to go for love. I think that question is wild, okay? I'm not going far for love. That's my answer, okay? I would have, back in the day, back in the day, how far I would have went, I would have, I would definitely would have went far back in the day. And I'm not, and I'm not so people could, like, before anybody, like, gets crazy, nobody's hurt over here. You know, like I said, I wake up and I dance to Bobby Brown every morning. Nobody's hurt over here, okay? And my knees still hurt, and I still do it. But, like... What I'm just saying is it's just a decision that it's I find more I, I find I, I find more of my happiness derives from what I can control. That's true. And I just choose to control more things around me. If I don't like the things around me, maybe I should change the things that I'm around. So that's what I just did. So what I'm doing now is no longer, you know, trying to chase that look for that. Or even kind of want that. It's just more like, yo, everything is blessed, man. Everything is everything is blessed. Like, no, for real. Bless Shikira, ba, ba, ba. That's when the blessings come in. <laughs> blessings come in. So you open your hands up like a funnel so the blessings could come in. So they could just come in and pour and pour so you could receive more. Shikira, ba, ba, ba. That's a fact. Oh, how are you doing? Are you blessed? I mean, I'm still pushing. I'm here every day. I have my health. Right. Right. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to tell me how That's far expensive. you're willing to go for love. I mean, I feel like that, that, that answer is not a destination. It's a journey, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that was some nice shit right there. I like that. That was some nice shit right there. Say that again. It's It's what? <laughs> Not, it's not a destination <laughs> answer it's a journey uh huh okay alright I like that shit that shit was hard that shit was hard it sounded like um, like if you were selling like I said in your book it sounded like that was one of the quotes on the back of the book <laughs> that's what I, what's the name of the book what do you <laughs> if you wrote a book what would, it be, what would be the I name know. I don't know if you wrote a book about just, just give me a book that you would write damn that's not a question you just answer like alright that's like, me all right, if you could write a book, what would you call it? Okay, so if, a couple ones. If I could write a book, one of them would be like how to be a player. Not like, not like, how do I say it? Um, not just, <clears throat> not just necessarily just have multiple women and uh, sleep with her, sleep with her behind her back and all that. No, no, not John Tucker must die shit. No, no, no. But what John Tucker should have done. So you know what? The name of my book would be. John Tucker. <laughs> they shouldn't survival have. Survival guide. <laughs> yeah, the John, John Tucker. The John Tucker survival guide. The John Tucker survival guide. Yeah, yeah there you go. Like you that. see. Because <laughs> he was wildin'. He was wildin'. Okay, wildin'. Taking shorties to the same place. But niggas be like that though. Niggas be niggin. Okay. I feel like it's a thrill for you guys. Like. Okay, I can't even lie. I did that before. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like.